Hello everyone. You may be going through a hard time now and you may think to yourself that it is better for you to be dead right now. That is not the truth. For instance, myself, I am going through I guess, yes, I am going through a hard time and I have went through hard times as well. Don't get me wrong, back in the past, there were times where I did not want to be on the earth. Not saying I am suicidal because I am not, no way. But, as I think now, I believe there is so much to live for. Think about this, even if you see this world as a prison, as a place to suffer, at the most, you are probably going to be here who knows, until age 80 or maybe 100, but not too likely many of us may live until we are 100. Let's say we may, we may live that long, but let's say age 80. This is our time to show God our undying loyalty to him. Once we get into heaven, I believe we will probably think our stay on earth was very short. And we will probably regret why we didn't do better on earth. Our stay here is short. It may feel very long right now. It may feel that way, but it is not. I remember when I was much younger, you know, I used to think how things would be for me at a particular age. And I am past <laughs> that age now. And as it seems, the time is going by quicker. Your suffering on this earth is temporary. But imagine, I believe we are going to be rewarded based upon what we did on this earth. What if you are shown, like, what if you are shown opportunities where you could have done better? And it will probably, maybe some of it will probably be very simple things that we could have done. Don't waste your life being very unhappy day after day, very depressed day after day. You may go through bad times but it's not so much about what we go through, but how we handle it. With myself, I know there is no way I am going to live on this earth without problems. I know I am going to have problems. So you have to adapt. How can I say it? You have to change your mind on how you look at problems. Problems are going to come your way, but don't let it make you bitter and unhappy so much. Our stay here is so short.
we will be rewarded. I believe we will be rewarded based upon um, how we behave on earth. Probably we will be rewarded based upon how much we suffered as well, perhaps. In everything, I believe we are going to reap what we sow. So I assume our sufferings will be rewarded. It made me think about Job. I believe his suffering, because he went through so much stuff, wasn't he like pretty much repaid or given double of what he had originally? So I believe we will be rewarded for our suffering. So suffering in Christ is not in vain. You may think God doesn't care. You may think God just wants to give you a hard time. You may think that, you know, you are the only one that cares about you. And that is not the truth. We have to get out of these pity parties, look toward God, and keep on moving forward. No matter, I believe you are going to have so much disappointments in this life. I know, I know I have quite a bit, but I have to keep moving forward. I have been betrayed. I have been all types of stuff. Maybe I should not say all types of stuff, but let's say I have been betrayed quite a bit, but I can't stay at that point. I have to pass the emotional pain. I have to pass the betrayal. I have to pass negative thinking that I fight against so much <laughs> you probably would not believe so i hope this makes sense your stay on earth is temporary do what you can to please god and if you make it to heaven many of us may not make it to heaven but if you make it to heaven I believe you will be rewarded from what you, I believe you will be rewarded for what you endured on this earth. What you do in Christ is not in vain. What you suffer in Christ is not in vain. Your works in Christ if you're doing it the right way and for the right reasons, it is not in vain. It is not. It may feel that way, but it is not. I believe God is always watching. Not saying we are going to do everything right because I know I don't. I don't do everything right. But even if you fail, even if you mess up, God, please forgive me of my sins and keep on moving forward. Keep on obeying God no matter what. Let me stop here. May God bless us.